cut of classics. Yo me muevo la cintura Hacia la mano, mira hacia atrás Dale un poquito lo que quiere Nada más, nada más Eso es lo que quiere, nada más Nada más Eso es lo que quiere, nada más Hacia la mano, mira hacia atrás Dale un poquito lo que quiere Nada más Baby, won't you work it right I got what you need, not just for the night They wanna see my body move under the light Watch me wine for ya, wine for ya Baby, won't you work it right? I got what you need, not just for the night They wanna see my body move under the light Watch me wine for ya, wine for ya Como me muevo, lo tengo todo loquito I just wanna feel you, papi, un poquito With the way you got me, yo te necesito Watch me wine for ya, wine for ya lo que quiere el dinero Dile más duro, no me meto con pendejo Una chica más fina y yo no tengo complejo no que me meta en el medio que tú eres mujeriego Baby, won't you work it right? I got what you need, not just for the night They wanna see my body move under the light Watch me wine for you, wine for you Baby, won't you work it right? What you need, not just for the night They wanna see my body move under the light Watch me wine for you, wine for you What's up, YouTube? Get Fit Fam. It's your boy Allende, the artist. I'm here with my boy right here, and we about to do a Confessions of an Alpha interview. So I got a certified Tyrone right here with me in the building. <laughs> or at this luxurious pool, man, where we're kicking it, bro. Uh, we out here in Dallas doing it big. Had some work out here. We both are models, so we're out here doing some fitness modeling. So I'm going to send it over to my boy right now. Branton Shine. Where you from, player? You can catch me at Buffalo, New York. <laughs> All right, another New Yorker right here. Um, so, yeah, let's start off with your, with your height. What's your height, weight, stats, and all that? I'm 6'4", 240. You know, I, you said stats. What the fuck? Yeah, man. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> that confused me. Yo, tell them, tell them what sports you play and, and that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a basketball player. You know, I play basketball, hoop all the time. Um, I do the, the fitness modeling and uh, the training. I do personal training too. So I do all that, man. I'm into all that shit. Okay. So basically, my boy over here being modest, but um, let's just say he's uh, approaching six figures. The man just told you that he's 6'4 and 240 pounds. So as we know, this sounds a lot like what the ladies describe that they want. So, um, I guess the preconceived notion, the, the census is, is that when it comes to girls, it's just super, super easy for you. So I'm going to dive into that. Um, the people want to know. So I'm going to the source. We're going to hear it from the horse's mouth. I'm only 5'10", so I know what it's like for a 5'10 dude with dreads, you know what I'm saying, 210 pounds. But uh, we want to know what's it like when you're 6'4". Yo, honestly, man, you got your, your pros and cons, you know what I'm saying? It's... It's not always good, you know, to be tall, but it definitely has its perks. You know, of course, the ladies, of course, love tall men. So I don't have to worry about, you know, <laughs> uh, getting a woman and that's, you know, oh, I like tall men. Nah, I, I already come like that. But um, you hit your head a lot on shit, so it's, <laughs> <laughs> fuck it. It's, 
sometimes it's not it's not cool but you know it's definitely um you get you can read shit more you know <laughs> you know what i'm saying and like i said with an attraction to the females like it comes easy but you you attract a lot of good ones but a lot of bad ones as well like i said pros and cons mm, you know? mm, mm. okay well listen we were out on the town last night man and um i had a hard time keeping up with the brother so this is just a follow-up to, to an earlier video i did uh, does looks and hype matter? And I said, hell the fuck yeah. Uh, so I always appreciate getting to kick it with a brother like my man right here because uh, then I get to put my game into overdrive. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Because shit, you know, you know, I did me last night. So you know, it's not. I'm not. I'm not gonna just uh, sit back. You know what I'm saying? And and spectate. I'm gonna get involved. I'm gonna get on the court. So it's always beautiful to kick it with somebody that's tall, good looking. That way, you know. That the stakes is high, the game is on it on its highest level. So, um, what we're gonna move on to now is um, how long, generally speaking, do girls make you wait for the ass? Honestly, um, usually around they don't they don't let me smash on the first day, you know. But you know, my good days, yeah, it's always going down. <laughs> if I want to, if I, it's, it's a mindset, it's a mentality. So if yeah. I want it, I'm, I'm going to go get it. You know what I mean? It's going to happen. Usually, most of the time, they say they don't smash on the first night. I don't listen to that shit. You know, it's, it's, it's about the vibes. You know, it's about uh, whether or not me and you can connect. But most of the time, if you can connect with somebody like me, like, which, which is not hard. Um, yeah, it's in the bag. It's Word. usually in the bag most of the time. All right, the next question I'm going to ask you is, do you feel that women tolerate you having multiple chicks more so than they do your shorter counterparts? You know what I'm saying? In other words, do you experience being able to blatantly cheat or blatantly juggle more than one girl and, and girls know and they just kind of tolerate it because at your height, you're, you're a lot harder to replace. What are your thoughts on that? Well, at the end of the day, I'm me, so... Whether or not, I mean, they like it or not. Most women don't like it, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, once you talking to me, filling me out, because I'm different. So once you once you you become, you know, trapped in my shackled, well, shackled in my embrace, it's, it's, hard to, it's hard to leave that, you know? <laughs> it's, it's hard to leave that. So. All right, so you say it's not the height, it's the swag, it's the vibe. But, but, but you do feel that, like, chicks tolerate the fact that you got more than one chick no they do tolerate it they don't like it but they tolerate it you know they hey. Don't like it. hey man hey hey it's a numbers game man it's math i mean personally the chicks i deal with accept it too but i'm just saying you know generally speaking um it's about confidence it's yeah. mostly about confidence you know your, how you carry yourself mm -hmm. you know what i mean and being real confident with females man they, they love that shit. yeah because you got to make them feel like they have something and you got to make them feel like they could lose something. Mm -hmm. So if you average, you basic, you normal, you're not really hard to replace. So if you're not coming off that way, you're not giving that aura and that experience, then hell yeah, man, these chicks is not really going to care. But um, all right, so the next thing is, at your height, what is your height preference in females? Because they seem to be very particular, but it's like, damn, are tall guys taking all the short bitches too? Well, yeah, that's funny you ask that because... Uh Tall girls actually intimidate me. You know, I, like I won't be I won't be biased and say I won't never mess with a tall female. You know, but if I can look a female in their eye, that's kind of intimidating. Nah, not that tall. Like six, like 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 five ten, five that's eleven. That's uh, I like anything shorter than me. Actually, I mean, I really don't have like a height preference. Mm -hmm. You know, because. In reality, with me, it's it's about who you are on the inside. If I can vibe with you, if I can talk to you, we can hold a conversation and shit like that. Mm -hmm. If we can grow, if we can go somewhere, if the shit is the shit is not going anywhere, and I can't benefit off of having you in my life, whether if it's just knowledge, you know, I I just can't. I'm not gonna vibe well with you. I'm not gonna mesh well. So that's pretty much it's gonna be the end of that. You know. Well, let me ask you, what do you think about like? slightly older chicks maybe in their like mid and late 30s maybe even 40s if they if they're like hot they still super hot so basically like cougars and milfs what do you think about them as far as like 
um, just an experience, being able to learn something from them, get a little bit of game from them since they're a little bit older. Like, just what do you think about about being uh, open to to dealing with some older chicks? You know what I mean? Well, actually, I like cougars. I'm uh, I'm into older women, so I find that because they bring more maturity, more class. You know, uh, they know what they're doing. You know what I'm saying? So with these younger girls, they care more so about themselves. Where you know, older woman, she'll pamper you a little bit. She'll sit there and say, mm. okay, so I see this guy, you know, uh, he looks good. You know, I want to, you know, cater to him so he can come back to me right. and stuff like that. So they pay more attention to that where mm -hmm. a younger female would, oh, I can get a whole bunch of motherfuckers. Yeah. You know, I can get a whole, I can get this guy. They're less competitive. Yeah, I can just show my ass and show my titties. Because mm -hmm. they got TikTok and they got Instagram and yeah. shit. So they feel like, yeah. man, there's so many yeah. motherfuckers in my DM. The older women. The older women ain't on the gram like that. Yeah, they're <laughs> yeah, they at work and shit. They come work, they come home, take, you know, they yeah. got their kids and shit. You know, so they, they, they have a life. But see, they want to have their fun as well, so they they go for you know younger stuff. You know well, I mean? me personally, I like the older chicks that are like the career women and shit that don't got no fucking kids. But they still look good as fuck, you know what I'm saying? And you can like put them back into their feminine space, like they feminine aura. Like they come home from work on all that tough leadership bullshit, and then it's like, listen, as soon as you take off that work suit. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna be purring like a little kitten. So sometimes I like those 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 um high performance chicks because it just takes a certain type of dude to put them in their place. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I think certain dudes don't challenge them and put them back in their feminine, and that's why they be talking about oh, uh, dudes is intimidated by my career and my success and all that shit. It's like nah, the niggas you fuck with, the dudes you fuck with is. I don't give a damn. But once you put down that briefcase, I don't give a fuck about that corporate shit. That corporate shit, leave that shit at the office, mama. Here, you my bitch. You know what I mean? I think they want and need that. You, yep, yep. you, you kind of help their sanity when you do that. You doing a public service, bro. You keep, yeah, you keeping them off the off the meds. <laughs> but most importantly, you gotta understand your worth. You know, when you yeah. dealing with females. Well, you gotta have worth to understand. It. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you see, that's what most people don't understand. You know, they go, they talk to a female, whether if it's young or old, and they forget. And they they find themselves just overdoing it, you know what I mean, and taking themselves out of character mm -hmm. for what, you know, when in reality, okay, you know what you bring to the table, mm -hmm. okay, you know how to speak, you know how to act, you know how to carry yourself. So, with any relationship that you get into with a female, you should be able to, you know, say, all right, what's good? Like I'm like this. This is what I bring to the table. This is what I can do. This is what we gonna do together. You know what I mean? And build on top of that. Right. You know, females nowadays, they more so, they want to tear you down. It's what they can get out of you. Basically. You know what I mean? So most men don't know their worth, you know, and that's that's the downfall. That's the that's the first mistake men have in talking to women and stuff like that. It doesn't matter if you're tall or short, but <clears throat> it does help, you know, being tall and having confidence and just knowing, like, yeah, I'm tall, <laughs> you know, I'm I'm light skin you know what I mean <laughs> so it, it does help yeah, knowing yeah. that I'm like that but you know no matter what you look like you should definitely go in